Good day, students. My name is Mrs. F.B. Olaleye, one of the counselors in the counseling unit of the Student Affairs, Federal University of Agriculture, Abeokuta. The topic before me is decent dressing and the image of the university. So what does your dressing has to do with the image of the Federal University of Agriculture, Abeokuta? Why dressing decently? and the benefits and the, the merits of dressing decently. We'll also look at the dress code of the Federal University of Agriculture, Abel Kuta. First, what is decent dressing? Decent dressing means one is dressed according to the function, culture, or belief. That is non-revealing dress. That is what we call decent dressing. The picture on the slide shows ladies properly dressed, decently dressed. This might be for occasion, for a party. You can even wear it to class, except that you may not be able to wear these uh, high-heeled shoes to the class because you'll be moving from lecture theater to another lecture theater. It might not be comfortable. So for Coming to class, you need a comfortable wear uh, shoes. You can look at these guys too. Aren't they cute? Look at where they put their belts. That is on their waist. See, their, their, their belts are properly fastened to their waist. No sagging. You, can, you will agree with me that the two slides that you have seen indicate people decently dressed. Indecent dressing means wearing of clothes that are not appropriate for a particular occasion or situation. It's all, it could also mean deliberate exposure of one's body to the public, the practice that is contrary to the acceptable norms and values of the society. And that society here is the Federal University of Agriculture, Abeokuta. We don't want you to expose, we don't want to see your body exposed to anybody. The lady you are seeing in, the, in this slide cannot be addressed or say that she's decently dressed. Don't wear this to the campus. We don't want this, please. This is another mode of dressing that we don't want in the Federal University of Agriculture, Doctor. Look at the man here, sagging. You don't want to see your boxers, whether neat or dirty. Just cover it. You don't want, you don't want sagging. Don't sag. People say uh, prisoners are those that sag. If they have said that you won't go to prison in your life, and you don't want that prophecy to come true. Don't come and practice it here, the Federal University of Agriculture Doctor. Fasten your belt on your waist. And look at Madame here. All the straps of her bra is outside. You don't want that here. Clothes that are indecent are what you are seeing here. Bomb short, mini state, and so on. And look at the man. He just saw what he wanted. I wanted to touch the madame's bum bum. She's now saying, hey, take away your hand. Take away your hand for where? She was the one that invited the man now. So if you invited them, they will touch it. We don't want these types of dressing here. This is another dress. Uh, coat that we don't like here. Short gowns that if you bend to pick anything from the floor is problem. And this uh, spaghetti, or what do you call it, is underwear. But some people decide to wear it to campus to show they are, they are in town. We don't want it in the, here in our university. FUNAB is known for decency in everything excellence in everything, both in academics and morals. And dressing is part of that moral that we want you incoming students to 
dress decently so that you can be referred to as morally okay. Why people dress indecently? Yes, there are so many reasons why people dress indecently. Peer pressure is one of them. They want to dress like their friends. So, some will say, ah, ah, why are you dressed like this? What is this you are wearing? No, don't answer them. Peer pressure is one of them. Poor parental guidance, yes, some home. Mm. They are nothing to write home about. So that is why whatever their children put on, mm, they are on their own. You know, come back. What is this you are wearing? Why is your hair like this? So that could also be part of the reason why people dress indecently. Low self-esteem. They don't have confidence in themselves. So they want to tell people, I'm also here. That's what made them dress indecently. Media influence and demonic oppression could also be another reason why people dress indecently. What are the results of indecent dressing? They are the results you may not want. Let's see some of them. See them here. Indecent dressing could result in the following. Harassment, sexual harassment, like you saw in the other slide. Because the skirt was so short, it's revealing. So the man says, says that this is an opportunity to touch this lady's bumble. She's inviting me. They might feel you are inviting them. So they will harass you. Scandal, rape, robbery. Yes, they may rape you because you have advertised to them that you are here. And they are now here touching you and say, take off your hand. I don't want that. Uh -huh. If you don't want it, Softly, you will have it hard. That is why rape is also one of the prostitution, courtesan, robbery could also be results of indecent dressing. You could also use ladies for rituals because you have dressed like a prostitute. Do you? carry you to their nightclubs and so on and so forth and whatever happens there is at your own risk don't reduce your self-worth don't reduce your worth by dressing indecently it's not everybody that it's not everybody that fashion indecent dressing no some people abhor indecent dressing. They don't like it. So when they see you dress indecently, some people will spit you out. What is that? So don't reduce your self-worth. And those that admire indecent dressing, when they are ready for any serious relationship, they are noticing that holy holy girl in your class or in your college they won't come for you so funab has dress code and what do we mean by dress code dress code is a set of rules often written with regards to clothing they are created out of social perceptions and norms and vary based on purpose circumstances and occasions Dress code can be used to reduce indecent dressing in the society. And that is why we have decent uh, dress code here in Funam. So you are advised to please abide by this dress code. Do not drag your family's name and our beloved university name to the mud. Even if you can afford to drag your family's name to the mud, please don't drag our beloved university name to the world. People outside there, they like FUNAB for everything. They say, ah, I've not seen it. They don't have time for courtism. Ah, they don't have time for this and that. That is what we want to be hearing. Not that, ah, they rape one FUNAB student to death. We've never had it and we will not have it. Not now, not in the future. Therefore, dress decently. Funab dress code for males. You are expected to have neat haircuts 
without patterns. If you want to use jewelry, it is welcome, but it should be moderate, not with earrings. Female are known with earrings, so don't put on earring. Your clothing should follow also follow this pattern. There should be no exposure of the upper part of the body. You should fasten your trousers on the waistline, not below the waistline. That is sagging that we saw in the other picture. It's not allowed here. Please keep your boxers inside. You don't want to see it. Footwear. Male students should wear good pair of sandals, cover shoes or work shoes, e.g. protective boots for farm work only. Rubber slippers should not be worn on this campus. Rubber slippers should be restricted to halls of residence. Dress like an undergraduate. Let there be difference between you and the gardeners. Please dress decently. For females, females should wear neat and decent hairstyles, no bogus one that will cover the face of the student behind you when you are in the lecture room. You should also be moderate in the use of your jewelries. No bogus jewelries should be used. When we were talking about the disadvantage of indecent dressing, we made mention of robbery that you could be robbed. Yes, if you have to put on gold chain of how many thousand you want to show the people that we have it in our family you should expect them they will visit you so use moderate jewelries not bogus one also no exposure of the upper torso slap strap dress and spaghetti strap blouses without jacket should not be worn Body hugs should not be worn without jackets on campus. Revealing blouses such as those that expose the nafe and breasts should not be worn on campus. So be careful. Any clothing which covers the face and or obstruct the identification of students shall not be allowed. Please note any clothing which covers the face and or obstructs the identification of students shall not be allowed. We want to know who we are dealing with. We want to know whether you are male or female. You can cover everything is allowed, but your face. Don't cover your face. We want to see your face. And because of the uh, situation, uh, security situation in town, in the country we want to see your face please if you cover everything your toes your feet everything just let's see this side of your face we want to know who we are dealing with please if you feel you can't abide by this rule that you should not cover everything you are still at home now probably you stay at home we don't want problem we don't want litigation Please abide by this. FUNAB is uh, very friendly to everybody, to every religion sets. But covering of face, total covering of face, is not allowed. Any clothes that will cover that, please, we don't want it here. Also, clothes should be chosen to cover from the waist to at least the knee in all postures. Hip stand trousers are not allowed without belts and blouses that cover the hips. Some of us will put on the trouser that will not go up there. And when you sit in the class and you bend down to write notes, the man behind you is in trouble because everything is outside there. You can see the lines, uh -huh, you know that lines, uh -huh, that, that, that divided the, you know now. Please, we don't want trousers without beds. That when you bend down, the trouser will move down, and everybody in the at the at your back in the class, they are in trouble. Please, 
also sandals or covered corporate shoes and decent slippers should be worn. We don't want rubber slippers. That should be restricted to the whole of residence. Tell the world, tell the people that you are an undergraduate, not a pepper seller or granola seller. Now we are slippers, pata, pata, pata on campus. No, sandals or corporate slippers. If you want to wear shoes, fine. But we are the one that will be moderate. That when you are moving from Anini to Jao, it will be comfortable for you. Say no to this mode of dressing and hairstyles that you are about to see in the following slide. Funab detest them. Like you have seen before, this type of dressing, short skirts, uh, sagging, uh, bum shorts, you don't want it here. Don't bring it here. Don't bring sagging here. You could say, you don't want this. See this, madam. You don't want this type of dress in here. See this hairstyle, color, color. You don't want it. I, I, I've, I've never met anybody that God made his or her hair to be like this. We don't want this hairstyle. We don't want it here. It might be nice for those that put them on because it may be the appropriate style for the occasion. But here, we don't want this type of hair. Look at this young man. Very fine. Handsome. Don't you like them? Yes, that's the type of hairstyle that we want. We are not saying you should copy their style, but we don't want anyone with patterns or drag or whatever. That is what it means. And for ladies, we don't want bogus earring that will be dangling here. So use moderate jewelry as we have said. Dress the way you want to be addressed. If you want to be addressed as a harlot, fine. If you want to be addressed like a garage boys, fine. That's when you will dress like a garage boy. You, you, you will sack. Let there be difference between an undergraduate and a boss conductor. Also, avoid senseless nudity and pornographic indulgence and the trauma of rape. We love you. And we don't want anything that will cause uh, emotional stress for you. And in case you have any problem at all, any personal, social personal, academic, please feel free to come to the counseling unit of the Federal University of Agriculture. We are there for you and we are waiting for you. And please observe all the COVID-19 protective rules. We want you alive. Stay safe. Once again, welcome to the Federal University of Agriculture.